What up guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. So the price of BTC is down yet again. Bitcoin lost $9,000 in a matter of minutes. That is insane. And today we gotta discuss the possibilities of governments now being able to manipulate the price of Bitcoin. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. Let's get to it. So Bitcoin took a big hit today. A big gigantic whale sold almost 5,000 BTC in a matter of minutes and then a few minutes after that 1,500 BTC was also sold immediately tanking the price down to around $45,900 per single BTC from the low 50s. That is a major dip. Is the bull market over? Let us discuss. Check this out guys, the US government handles a massive stash of Bitcoin. Is there a possibility that way back in the days from like 2011, 12, 13 when the Silk Road Bitcoins was being seized that the US government held back on some of those coins that they gave to the US Marshals to auction off back in late 2013. One of the guys who made a lot of money back then when that Bitcoin was auctioned off was Tim Draper. He bought some of those coins at an average of around $300 per BTC, investing a few million dollars back then, which are now worth billions of dollars. So Tim Draper is definitely a billionaire when it comes to Bitcoin. The problem is that the US government could have been either mining Bitcoin since then or just accumulating. You best believe that because for years now, we have been blaming the Bitcoin whales and the early Bitcoin adapters of manipulating the market and tanking it every time they wanted to, pushing retail out, shaking out the weak hands. But 2021 is a bit different. Institutions have come in. You've seen people like Michael Celia and Michael Strategy come into the game. People like Elon Musk coming into the game. Even countries like El Salvador are adopting Bitcoin. So is there a possibility that the US government could be behind some of these dips or even China because F2 pool could be a centralized mining facility that has been accumulating BTC since 2011. They hold a large amount of BTC and even with China banning Bitcoin, F2 pool is still mining BTC as of today. Now this article was released back in November 5th of 2020. It says a record of $1 billion worth of BTC linked to the Silk Road was seized by the US government. This was worth that much money at the time and how much it is worth now you best bet that it has almost tripled and right around the corner in February of 2021 at the beginning of this year the feds withholding three billion dollars that they seized from these dark web guys are being held by corrupted US federal agents and this is not a small stash we're talking 70,000 bitcoins here and there 40,000, 30,000, the money just keeps going up and up and up. The United States also overtakes China and becomes the world's largest Bitcoin mining hub. This happened after China decided to ban Bitcoin mining on either a temporary basis or a permanent basis. That is why people moved to the US and they started mining. Is there a possibility that the feds are also mining and they have been mining BTC for a while now? We're talking about a few years. So this might not only be in the powers of Bitcoin whales anymore, it shifted to institutions buying Bitcoin on a daily basis to now governments which have money backing them, the money printers are backing these governments. They can print as much money as they want and over inflate the price of Bitcoin. They can also tank it when they want because they have money. Despite all of that though, El Salvador is buying the dip. El Salvador just bought a few more BTC at an average price of $45,000 per BTC. They are also using energy from volcanoes to mine Bitcoin. President Nayib Bukele just had a back and forth with Peter Schiff, Bitcoin's number one enemy, on Twitter 
you know Peter Schiff, he is a boomer, a gold bug and this is what he wrote to the president of El Salvador. He says there is a lot more dips coming. So how much of the taxpayers money do you intend to waste? The president Bukele replied by stating that we are already in the green from our last purchase in less than 24 hours. You know boomer. We have 44,106 ounces of gold in our reserve banks. This is currently worth 79 million US dollars and it is down 0.37% from a year ago. If we have put that same 79 million dollars worth of gold a year ago into Bitcoin, it would have now been valued at 204 million dollars going up almost four times that is insane so what bukele is telling peter schiff is that holding gold is not a good idea holding bitcoin is always better than holding gold so despite whatever is going on in the market do not have your weak hands don't be shaken because countries like el salvador are buying and it's gonna get to the point where major countries are going to also start buying btc as a reserve currency and this is when you're gonna see truly the power of mass adoption bitcoin is already being massively adopted now the altcoins you just might want to hold off on them for now because if we don't see an altcoin season this will be the very first cycle where bitcoin hasn't really seen that altcoin season yet but then again those of you who are altcoin fans ethereum is at a four thousand dollars Cardano's ADA is at $1.43 for example, XRP is at $0.80 cents. and this might be the right time for you to accumulate some cheap altcoins if you are waiting for a market correction. Another theory that I think might be the reason for a Bitcoin tank is Mt. Gox. Thousands of BTC are still locked away and the Mt. Gox people are waiting to get their money back. So what if the entities decided to silently pay the Mt. Gox people to avoid tanking the market so bad and just tell them to slowly sell off your BTC without telling anybody that you got your Bitcoins back? Because if this news has been announced that the Mt. Gox people have received their hundreds of thousands of BTC back, there could be a major correction we're talking 40 to 50 percent BTC correction now the institutions like MicroStrategy might be able to help you buy those dips but they can only do so much this could also be another theory and of course you have the Omicron new variant that is causing the, not only the crypto market crash but also the stock market crash so what are your thoughts on the price of BTC tanking from 56,000 all the way back down to $45,900 per single BTC. Right now at the time of this recording it is currently back up to $49,000. Let us know in the comment section below. Like up the video, share it, subscribe for some crypto content. I have been Mr. Nakamoto Crypto and I'm out.